I established our go live connection. So we're live streaming on Facebook. I'm going to start the recording. Okay, thank you. Just to make, make sure we don't have any technical difficulties. Bear with me one second. I guess we'll give folks a few more minutes. Welcome, Nick. Hello. Danielle, you'll eventually allow me to share my screen, correct? I'll set that up right now for you. Thank you. You are all set. Okay, I see we have Marisa joining us. Let me um, see if I can get Council President Ellis on the line. Danielle, can you confirm how many we need in order to proceed, how many members we need in order to proceed? I just reached out to Darius to see if he was joining us. Um, Darius we just need a on. quorum. Oh, he, okay. Welcome, Darius. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're, we will go ahead and get started. I wanted to um, first say happy spring or almost spring um, and welcome everyone to today's Board of Estimate and Apportionment meeting. The date is Tuesday, April 6, 2021, and the time is 1.32 p.m. present. Uh, myself, I'm Dr. Dorsey Pleers, Chief City Auditor. We also have from my office, our Deputy Chief City Auditor, Petros Hyla. Our Treasurer, Derry Shanfar, is with us. On behalf of our Budget Director, Mike Wheeler, we have Nick Blaze. We have our Lead Attorney, Marisa Francini. And I think that's it. So we are going to jump right in. We have a pretty hefty agenda today. So I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible. So for our uh, budget transfer request for 2020, we have two from budget, one from uh, building, buildings and regulatory compliance, and we have roughly 18 from police. Um, for those requests from police, they are all related to closing out uh, 2020 purchase order. So the intent is to cover 2020 overages. So I won't repeat that constantly. I just wanted to give you all the heads up that all of those requests are for that reason. 
The other uh, thing I wanted to mention before I get into the agenda is due to the fact that we have 18 requests from police, uh, normally I would read all of the dollar figures, uh, but for the sake of today, I will um, uh, I will waive some of the, well, I won't read all of the do dollar figures, but we'll reference them as part of the agenda. That is my um, intent, but if there are any objections to that, please let me know. All right, so jumping right in, um, our first request comes from budget. They are requesting uh, that $5,850 be transferred from the supplies and materials account to their utilities street lighting account to cover 2020 uh, outstanding invoices. The second request, again from budget, is requesting that eight. $15,000 be transferred from the supplies and materials account to the judgments and claims account to cover the cost of outstanding 2020 settlements. It is my understanding this settlement is in relation to a settlement we discussed at our last ENA uh, meeting regarding a settlement uh, for Mr. Childs. And um, so this is to make that whole so that we can uh, pay out the full $100,000. The next request comes from Buildings and Regulatory Compliance. Uh, they are requesting that $7,894 be transferred from two separate accounts, the Zombie and Grant account, Zombie 2.0 Grant account in the amount of $6,250 and the City's Rise Grant account in the amount of $1,644. Uh, so those funds being transferred to the Contracted Services account to cover outstanding 2020 invoices. Next, we're getting into the uh, request from the police department. And again, we have quite a bit of requests here. Uh, so the first is for a transfer in the amount of $32,723 uh, coming from two separate accounts, the uniforms in the amount of $31,863 and armor vest in the amount of $860. Uh, that will be transferred into the uh, four separate accounts, supervisory, public safety slash operations, uh, meal allowances, and overtime reimbursable. And you can see that um, that cost breakdown is uh, noted there in the agenda. The next request is in the amount of $24,980 being transferred from the salaries slash traffic engineering account into four separate accounts. Salaries slash children and family services would be the first, the second is supervisory, third public safety slash operations, and lastly longevity pay. Okay, um, the next request in the amount of $47,298 uh, would be transferred from salary slash traffic and engineering that account. Let's see, I lost my, into uh, is that three separate accounts. Four. Four, I'm, I'm missing one at the top. Okay, so yeah, so four separate accounts, salary slash forensic investigations, supervisory, public safety slash operations, and overtime. The next request is a transfer in the amount of $35,141 from the supplies and materials account into four separate accounts, uh, telephone communication, longevity pay, holiday pay, and lastly, public safety slash operations. The next request is in the amount of $8,331 with $7,961 coming from the fees and services account and the remaining $370 coming from the contracted services account. Uh, that total being transferred into three separate accounts, overtime, utilities, and compensation. 
slash medical. The next is a request in the amount of $76,032 being transferred from the contracted services account into four separate accounts, uh, social security, overtime, clothing allowance and stipends. That's one account. And then the last being longevity pay. Again, as was mentioned, these are all to cover 2020 overages. Okay, let me find my place here. We are at the uh, request in the amount of $35,141. Oh, uh, Dorsey. Um, we did that one. I think we're down at the 82,000 at the bottom of the page. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Petros. I lost my spot here. Okay, so the request is for $82,232 um, being transferred from the contracted services account into is this one or multiple. So that's a total of four accounts. Um, the one above, can you go up Petros, please? This is when you need hard copy. Um, it's uh, the first one is salaries, the salaries account. Overtime would be the second clothing allowance slash stipends would be the third account and then longevity pay would be the last account. The next request is in the amount of $65,872. Um, 60,000 of that would be uh, being transferred from the roadway tapping account and the remaining amount, which is $5,872 will be transferred from the social security account. Uh, this total would be uh, transferred into four separate accounts, supervisory, overtime, um, a second supervisory account, and then lastly, public safety slash operations. The next request is in the amount of $99,235. Uh, this total will be coming from multiple accounts. The first is the other equipment account in the amount of $23,938. The hospital and medical insurance slash children and family services account in the amount of $56,379. The salaries account in the amount of $11,870. And the hospital and medical insurance slash computer and tech account in the amount of $7,048. So those funds would be transferred into four separate accounts longevity pay slash neighborhood engagement, overtime clothing allowance slash stipends and longevity pay slash South Station. The next request, you can scroll up Petros, just a tad. You can scroll, we're at the um, the request for $15,571. Uh, this amount would be coming from two separate accounts. The first is clothing allowance slash stipends um, slash public safety. Petros, what's the acronym on this? Blue this communication systems. Communication systems, thank you. Uh, in the amount of $11,925. And the uh, second account is the social security account slash public safety communication system in the amount of $3,646. Uh, so that total of $15,571 will be transferred into four separate accounts, social security slash emergency services team. Overtime will be the second, uh, clothing allowance slash stipends um, slash Office of Professional Standards would be the third account. And then lastly, longevity pay. Okay, our next request 
is in the amount of um, $177,227. That amount being transferred from two separate accounts. The first is step uh, increases account in the amount of $175,000. And then the compensation account in the amount of $2,227. That total would be transferred into four separate accounts. And there's a theme here, uh, salaries, overtime, the third account being clothing allowances slash stipends, and then lastly, longevity pay. The next request uh, for transferring funds, funds is in the amount of $36,505 coming from the overtime central booking account into four separate accounts, supervisory, public safety slash operations, longevity pay, and then lastly, overtime slash administrative services. The next request is in the amount of $86,360 coming from three separate accounts. The first is hospital and medical insurance slash central booking in the amount of $26,705. Salaries in the amount of $38,392 and contracted services in the amount of $21,263, all being transferred into um, four separate accounts over time, longevity pay, public safety slash operations, and then lastly, supervisory. And our next request is in the amount, drum roll please. So the total is $36,685 coming from to, let's see, that's one account, um, overtime slash central booking. No, Doris, you were at the bottom, the social security and uniform. I am getting confused here, sorry about that. So let me back up again, just to be clear. So let me go over that total one more time, Petros. So it's $36,685 coming from two separate accounts uh, noted right at the bottom, Social Security in the amount of $14,102 and uniforms in the amount of $22,583 going into four separate accounts, supervisory, public safety slash operations, overtime, there should be one other holiday pay. Okay, so next, the next request is in the amount of $17,506. Uh, that amount would be transferred from the hospital and medical insurance account into um, one, two, let's see, four separate accounts, supervisory, public safety slash operations, clothing allowances and stipends, and lastly, salaries. The next request in the amount of four, $142,835. Um, let's see, so 131, $131,583 of that would be coming from the motor vehicle expense account and the remaining amount in the, um, in the amount of $11,252 uh, that total would then be transferred into four separate accounts, salaries, supervisory, public safety slash operations, and lastly, overtime. Moving along, um, we have a request in the amount of $80,382. And that would be coming from three separate accounts. The first is supplies and materials in the amount of $16,000. $119, salaries slash central booking account in the amount of $33,755. And then lastly, salary slash bid maintenance in the amount of $30,508. That total would be transferred of $80,382 would be transferred into four separate accounts, longevity pay, salaries, supervisory, and then lastly, public safety slash operations. 
Our next request is a transfer in the amount of $9,861 from the salaries account into three separate accounts. The first is supervisory, second public safety slash operations, and then lastly, longevity pay. Uh, let me back up. So there were four. So, I, so there were total, I'm sorry, um, I stand corrected. So that total of $9,861 is being transferred into four separate accounts instead of three supervisory, public safety slash operations, longevity pay. And then the last account is on the next page here, clothing allowances slash stipends. All right, so that concludes the transfers for 2020. Now we get into our transfer request for 2021. We have one from engineering in the amount of $18,000. $9,000 will be coming from contracted services slash traffic and engineering and $9,000 from code enforcement stipend. I think we have a typo there, um, slash fire. In, and that total would be transferred into the contracted services slash engineering account. This too is to cover costs associated, well, this is to cover costs associated with engineering evaluation. The next request is from law. Um, it is a request in the amount of $5,000 from the expense of litigation account, and that those funds would be transferred into the fees and services account to cover outstanding invoices. So that concludes the budget transfer request for 2020 and 2021. There was a lot there, so I'll just pause there to see if there are any questions or um, concerns about any of the agenda items thus far. I just had one question on some of the police transfers. Uh, was there a particular reason why we're so over um, we had extra money laying around in traffic engineering, uh, both for road taping and for uh, salaries. That's a good question. Um, let's see, who do we have on here from police? police or, or, or Mike, or I'm sorry, Nick. Um, yeah, I did not confirm or do an investigation as to why there was that availability of traffic, but we did check, um, you know, that that availability was there, um, for the salaries. I'm assuming that that's gotta be related to vacancies. And let me just scroll up to where they, we can transferred from for traffic's, uh, contractual here. We can talk offline too. Okay. Yeah, I can, Darius, I can look into that and then give you uh, a breakdown of what was going on over there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Darius, for your question. And Nick, if you could just CC uh, myself on that, that would be great. Absolutely. All right. Now, moving into uh, increased appropriation requests here for 2021, we have our first from administrative services. They are anticipating a grant in the amount of $71,000. With that, there's a request for an increase in revenue um, to the other general government account. And as a result, an increase in expense requests to their contracted services account. Uh, this grant funding would be coming from the electric vehicle um, Let's see. Well, Petro, so we have confirmed the um, who it's coming, the funding is coming from. Uh, the the budget did not provide that information, but yeah, the the purpose of it is for the funding of the electric vehicle charging installation. Okay. That funding should be coming from uh, the New York Power Authority. Okay. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Petros. Uh, moving along to the second um, request. Uh, from police, a, they are anticipating a, a grant um, in the amount of $98,600 to 
So a request to increase the, um, the revenue, specifically the New York State Homeland Security account, and as a result, an increase in expense for the other equipment account. And this is a grant to prevent terrorist attacks. The next request is also from police. Um, they anticipate a grant in the amount of $93,300. And so there's a request to increase the revenue uh, in the New York State Homeland Security Program, Law Enforcement Terrorism Prevention Program, FY 2020 account, and then as a result, an increase in expense um, in the other equipment account. This too is grant funding to prevent terrorist attacks. Lastly, again, from APD, a um, anticipation of grant funding in the amount of $18,600. Um, so this would be an increase in revenue to the U.S. DOJ Justice Assistance Grant 2020 account, and then subsequently an increase in expense to the other equipment account. Uh, the purpose of this is, let's see, APD received a grant from U.S. DOJ to help pay for six large ball sticks shields to be de deployed to uh, patrol vehicles, ballistic. All right, and then next we have a request on water. They anticipate receiving, Petros, can you scroll up please? So this is an anticipated amount of, I think the bottom line was $45 million, way to go water. Um, and so there's a request to have an increase in revenue um, starting with the long-term control plan finance account in the amount of 17.6 million. The long-term control plan reimbursement account in the amount of 12.4 million. And then the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation account in the amount of 15 million. And those funds, what we will see is an increase in expense in the sewer rehabilitation account. Um, this is all to fund the Beaver Creek Clean River Project. All right, and then lastly, a request from water. They anticipate a grant um, or grant funding in the amount of one in the amount of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So an increase in revenue to the contracted services account in the amount of one hundred thousand dollars, and the contracted services slash transmission and distribution account in the amount of fifty thousand dollars and then subsequently an increase in expenses to the sewer separation account. This is to cover cost of Hawthorne Green Infrastructure Project done in partnership with DGS. Next, we have a title change request from HR. They are requesting that there be a title change um, they, the, currently, the title is administrative assistant. They want to create some uh, form of uh, promotional opportunity for the, this particular position. And so the title would be changed to HR Generalist 1. No uh, budget implications here as the salary would remain the same. And then moving on to legal settlements, we have one settlement in the amount of $1,000 for a Mr. Minnick, Mark Joseph. And uh, Marisa, please correct me if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly. And it is my understanding that a tree uh, fell on his property. And so he is um, owed this uh, money. That's correct. Yes, it's a tree versus car situation. Okay. Thank you. Lastly, we are um, transitioning to Common Council resolutions and ordinances. 
And Petros, if you can scroll down, we have three pieces of legislation here, one ordinance and two resolutions. And I will just read the Dorsey, if you don't mind, could I uh, just clarify one thing before we move on? Please. I had said that the funding for uh, the electric vehicle charging stations would be coming from uh, NIPA, but it's actually coming from NYSERDA, just to, just to correct the record. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. So that noted, um, reviewing the uh, piece of the legislation, Ordinance 45122, Dot two zero, an ordinance of the Common Council authorizing the, the sale of Scott Street in the city of Albany um, to the South End Development, well, to South End Development LLC. Um, let's see here. And this is, there's no budget implications here. The second is a resolution, resolution number 22.31.21R, a resolution of the Common Council consenting to the creation of a full-time position, which will affect a salary total for the 2021 budget. Uh, let's see here. So DGS is creating a building services let me just make sure I have that correct. Um, I have my notes here. They're creating a... Petros, can you clarify? Is this the communications position? Yeah, this is a social media web specialist position. And that um, total amount for that salary is $40,000? Correct. And then these, the last is resolution... 233121 21 r a resolution of the Common Council consenting to an adjustment in salary for the 2021 budget. This is uh, pertaining to APD, and there will be an increase in salary for the building uh, services supervisor. So that salary would go from $45,196 to $50,000. That concludes today's agenda. Um, are there any questions about any of the uh, most recent agenda items? I'll make a motion to pass the agenda. Okay, there's a motion on the floor to pass the agenda. Is there a second? I'll second. A second from uh, Marisa Francini. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Motion passes to approve the agenda. May I have a motion to conclude our meeting? So moved. So moved. Uh, there is Sean Farr, second? Second. All right, for Marisa Franchini, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, well, thank you all for bearing with me. The motion passes. This concludes today's Board of Estimate and Apportionment meeting. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll transfer I'll forward um, the mic over to our colleagues in the clerk's office. Thank you. Just want to make sure I got everybody. All righty. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody's enjoying this piece of good weather that we're getting. You know, a little tease. Hopefully, it get better. So, I'd like to call to order today's meeting of the Board of Contract and Supply. Today's date is Tuesday, April 6, 2021. Present, we have Nicholas Blaze, Marisa Francini, John Farr, Randall Polano, and Frank Zioli. Okay. So um, the Department of General Services offered the following two resolutions. 
authorized that the secretary be resolved that the secretary be authorized and directed to advertise for bids for Bobcat equipment, parts, preventative maintenance and repair, seven proposals to be received by, a, by the board at a regular meeting be held Tuesday, Tuesday, March, Tuesday, May 4th at uh, 2021 at 1 30 p.m. They also offered street milling project 2021 set proposals to be received by the board at a regular meeting to be held Tuesday, April 20th, 21 at 1 30 p.m. Next, uh, Mr. Milano offered the following, resolved that the secretary be authorized and directed to advertise for City of Albany street resurfacing and sidewalk reconstruction project year 2021, contract two. Set proposals to be received by the board at a regular meeting to be held Tuesday, April 20th, 2021 at 1.30 p.m. The Department of General Services offered the following, resolved that the secretary be authorized and direct to advertise for wood chipper and associated parts slash service. Set proposals to be received by the board at a regular meeting to be held Tuesday, April 20th, 2021 at 1.30 p.m. So we received um, openings for, received bids for pretty much all the openings we have today. So we'll start with the AFD maintenance facility, oil water separator installation from Del Signor, flat top. Mid bond included. You have a base bid $182,879. Next, we have the opening for the alcohol reservoir sodium magnet system. First, we have AMZ Construction Services, Inc. Bid bond included. So they have a total bid price of $469,500. There was no bid on the electrical. This was for the general. $469,500 for the general. Next, we have Brunswick Electric. Bid bond included. There's no bid on the general for electric. Uh, it's $279,500. Next, we have CFI Contracting Inc. Bid bond included. There's no bid for electrical. The general um, total bid price for the general construction four hundred seventy four thousand nine hundred dollars. Next we have Roselle.
bid bond included. There's no bid on the electrical. The general general construction bid is six hundred sixty five thousand dollars. And the last one we have is Spring Electric. Bid bond included. Note on the general contract. This is for the electrical. We have a total bid price two hundred sixty one thousand and fifty dollars. Two hundred sixty one thousand and fifty dollars. So next we have. Beaver Creek Clean River Project Phase 5 HVAC aspect. First have Colette Mechanical. Bid bond included. We have a total base bid of one million one hundred eighty-eight thousand six hundred eighty-eight dollars. Next, we have the Jezzer Mechanical Inc. Bin bond included. We have a total bid of $959,000. $959,000. We have John W. Danforth Company. Bid bond included. Total bid of one million one hundred fifty six thousand dollars. Next we have Selby. Bid bond included. Oh, it page. Okay, found it. Uh, they have a total bid of one million fifty four thousand dollars. One million fifty four thousand. And final for this is T McElligot. McElligot. Bid bond included. They have a total base bid of $990,000. <coughs> that concludes that opening. Next, we have the Fiora Bush filtration plant electrical upgrades. We have two for the general construction. Starting with AMZ, Construction Services Inc. Bid bond included. General uh, Construction. Total bid price, $165,650.
No bid on the electrical. Next, we have uh, the BMJR companies for general construction. Bid bond included. So we have a total base bid for the general construction of $154,969. $154,969. So next we have the electrical. The first is Brunswick Electric. Bid bond included. No bid on the general construction. The electrical total price bid eight hundred and two thousand five hundred dollars. Eight hundred and two thousand five hundred dollars. We have Hewitt Young Electric LLC. Bid bond included. Not right off the bat. No bid for the general construction. Their electrical total bid price, $902,500. $902,500. We have Castleman Electric Co. Bid bond included. No bid on the general construction. The total total price bid for their electrical bid is seven hundred twenty-seven thousand four hundred and nineteen dollars. Well, the final one is Spring Electric. Bid bond included. No bid on the general construction. The total bid for electric, $620,000. Next, we have maintenance contract for our window cleaning service. Act one. Okay. Security required for this. Seeing a bond for this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not seeing an actual bond for this. Let's see, got this written. So I have a total bid of $41,788. Mm 
Yes, I do. I see an official check. Official check is included. Sorry about that. So then we have VIP special services. They sent in a box. Big old FedEx box. Good binders. Okay. Bid bond included. This is We have a total bid of $57,800. All right. Next, we have purchase and installation of Tough Tech lockers with Zephyr 5,500 locks. First, we have Nickerson Corp. Yep, looks like I saw a bid bond. Yep, bid bond included. So the price to purchase installation 200 tough tech lockers with Zypher Club Stereo Locks, $142,000. And the uh, last one for this one is Sam Greco Construction, Construction Inc. Official check included. So they have a total price purchase and installation of 200 tough tech locks with Zypher Club Siri mechanical locks, $207,471. And our final opening is for the South End Fire Station Grease Trap installation by Gallo Construction Corp. Bid bond included. Total um, lump sum price, $99,954. That concludes the bid openings. We made it through it. That's all? So the water, that, that was it. We made it through it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so... We the water the, the Albany Water Board offered the two following. The Albany Water Board authorizes a water Beaver Creek Clean River Project Phase Five E Electric to Hasselman Electric Co. And the Albany Water Board authorizes a water Beaver Creek Clean River Phase Five. P plumbing 
to the Jezair Mechanical Inc. The Jezair. The Department of General Services offered the following. Resolved that the bid of the following name bidder be accepted in the contract awarded to them for the street planting program to Clover Leaves Nurseries. APD Traffic Engineering Division offered the following. Resolved that in accordance with the existing contract provisions of city contract number 9128, that the bid of the following name contract be extended until August 1st, 2021 at and for the prices in terms specified in the existing contract for the APD facility fencing project at 170 Henry Jackson Boulevard with um, Spitali Construction Resources Inc. Extended completed date is August 1st, 2021. And the last item on the agenda, the Department of General Services <clears throat> offered the following, resolved that the bids received by the Board of Contract and Supply on Friday, February 19th, 2021, for sidewalk snow removal services and support be rejected. The reason for the rejection is so bidder did not provide the proper information needed to award the contract to them. So that concludes our agenda for the Board of Contract and Supply. Is there any discussion? Uh, may I get a motion to accept? So moved. Second. Got it. All in favor? Aye. 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 The agenda has been approved. Can we get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All right. Thank you, guys. Everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Pull my voice back out. <laughs>